The Rotate Designs function allows you to rotate the design in eight different directions. To do so, select the desired rotation option from the bottom two rows of the menu. Then, click on the green check mark to save your settings. The design will then appear on the screen with the changes you've made. After you've rotated your design to a desired setting, you may also customize the rotation angle anywhere from 0 to 89 degrees. To do so, Select the third icon, displaying an F with an arrow pointing downward along the top row of options. Once you select this option, a numbered keypad will appear. Input the desired degrees in which you would like to position your design and select the green check mark on the top right of the keypad. When you have finished editing your design, press the green check on the top right of your screen to save your changes. You can repeat the same design in one job under the Design Settings menu. Embroiderers use this method to save time when running projects such as multiple patches. To do so, you will need to use the largest hoop possible and repeat the design as many times as it fits in the hoop's sewing area. To begin the process, you will have to choose whether you want to repeat your designs vertically or horizontally. To repeat your designs horizontally, use the first and second icon on the second row of the menu. The first icon is used to select the amount of designs you wish to repeat, and the second icon is used to select the space in between each design. To repeat the design vertically, use the third and fourth icon on the second row of the menu. The third icon is used to select the amount of designs you wish to repeat, and the fourth icon is used to select the space in between each design. Let's walk through it. In this example, we will repeat our design horizontally, so we will select the first icon on the second row of this menu. Next, clear the current value on the keypad, if any, and input the number of designs you would like to repeat. Then press the green check mark. Now you need to select the space in between each of the designs, so we will use the horizontal spacing icon directly underneath the repetition key. First, clear the current value, if any. Then, input the amount of space you wish to place between your designs. These values will be represented in millimeters. Once you've input the measurement, select the green checkmark key on the top right of the keypad. When you have finished editing your design, press the green check on the top right of your screen to save your changes. To control the way your machine changes colors between color stops, you can assign a specific color mode option. To do this, click on the Color Sequence Settings menu. The three color change mode options are Automatic Mode, Semi-Automatic Mode, and Manual Mode. If your machine is in Automatic Mode, represented by an AA icon, your machine will automatically switch needles after each color stop and immediately embroider the next color unless you've assigned a low speed setting or an offset setting to your color stops. If you want your machine to stop embroidering after each color stop, change your mode to semi-automatic, represented by the AM icon. This will require you to press start after each color stop, but will guarantee that you are happy with the embroidery before proceeding to the next color. If you want to assign colors to your color stops one by one and have your machine stop after each color stop, you can switch your machine to manual mode represented by the MM icon. The stitch mode key will display the status of your embroidery machine, whether it's working, stopped, or there has been an error. For example, while your machine is embroidering, in working status, a message that reads working along with a zigzag line will appear on the icon. On the other hand, if the machine encounters an error such as a thread break, an error message will be displayed on the stitch mode icon. 
The EMB mode menu also allows you to set a speed in which to float, or in other words, fast forward or rewind through your design. When you experience a thread break, you should rewind your design a few stitches back to make sure you don't miss any stitches. You can also rewind and fast forward through your stitches in low and high speeds using the EMB mode icon. To do so, tap the EMB mode icon once to float in a low speed, or tap the EMB mode twice to float in a high speed. When you enter stitch floating mode, two needle icons will appear on the screen. Tap the minus needle icon to float backward, or tap the plus needle icon to float forward. You can rewind and fast forward through your design by stitch count or by color stop using the floating key. To fast forward or rewind by stitch count, first click on the float icon. To rewind by stitch count, click on the reduce icon. To fast forward by stitch count, click on the addition icon. Then, input the number of stitches you would like to rewind or forward to, and the frame will move to that point of the design. To forward or rewind by color stop, first click on the float icon. To fast forward by color stop, click on the forward key. To rewind by color stop, click on the backward key. The portion of the design that contains each color stop will be highlighted on the screen as you continue tapping on the forward or backward key. Continue clicking the key until you've reached the area where you wish to begin stitching again.